I just thought I'd jump on quickly. Um, it's Saturday the... I should have looked, shouldn't I? Saturday the 16th of June, I think. Um, and I've got the day to myself today because my husband's gone to the beer festival in Utoxeter. So I've got a sewing day, a day all to myself, saying that my son's just saw me for a lift. <laughs> probably, probably only 10 minutes away and he wants a lift. Anyway, so yes, this is me. I'm Annette, um, Net Mother Bear on Instagram and on this YouTube channel. And last time I videoed, I'm aware I was wearing the same blouse. Um, it's been a month since I videoed, has it? Yes, it's been a month. Um, a lot's gone on, really. I've been very busy. Um, anyone that knows I'm doing a nursing degree at the moment. Um, and I've nearly finished. Nearly finished. It's been a long three years. A very long three years. Um, can't say I've enjoyed all of it. And there's been many tears and tantrums. And there has been some good good times. But yeah, I'm glad. I'm so glad it's going to be over. I've got about five weeks left and then I'm done. So, um, yeah, so I think since I spoke to you last to finish my dissertation, I had my results back, I passed, thankfully. Um, I did another assignment, a presentation, a recorded video presentation, recorded Panopto presentation, which was a nightmare. Um, so I'm just waiting for the results back on that one. Currently out on placement in community and, um, yeah, enjoying that, really. That's, that's good. So that's me. So yeah, I'm enjoying my day today to go to just do some sewing. And um, what did I do yesterday? I took my mom. It was my mom's 84th birthday, and I took her shopping. So that was lovely. So yes, as I was saying, I was wearing this blouse on my last video. Didn't realise it's not intentional. I just thought I'd pop it on because I wanted to show you. Um, I've altered it, and then I realised when I put it on and look quickly flipped through my video, I realised that. I was wearing the same blouse. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So this is the NYX blouse by Closet Core Patterns. And it's the version B with the peplum. Now I made this, I, mean, for me, I think this is a size 10. Um, it's in a lovely cotton by Lady McElroy. I had this from Minerva. And um, yeah, I made this and put it on and I look like a sack of potatoes it was just huge so you make the top part and then you use the middle tier of the skirt pattern for the bottom of the blouse yeah I didn't like it it was massive so I came up with the idea of adding some elastic so I made a casing in this bit and I added elastic to pull it in Thought, yeah, that's okay. Pop some video, pop some pictures on Instagram. Wore it a couple of times. I thought, I don't, I, mean, I still don't like this. And I was so upset because I just love this cute material with the birds on. Anyway, I've sat and thought about it, tried it on, looked at photographs, took it off again, wore it. It's irritated me. Even the elastic was irritating me, let alone the, the style of it. And I just thought, no, I'm not really getting on with this blouse. So last night I decided to pick it apart. I had a couple of glasses of red wine and out come my picker. And I took it apart. So I took the bottom off. Then didn't know quite what to do with it really. Um, so I ended up, the, today I have put the bottom, I'll stand up. So I've put the bottom layer back on, which unfortunately meant that I lost a lot of fabric because it, you know, it was gathered, all this was gathered. So it's a bit of a waste of material, but I think I've salvaged it now. So I've put it back on straight with no gathering. And then at the back, because it was quite, kind of like so blousy, I've added these ties. Can you see? I've put two little, which just pulls it in a little bit because it's so, so big at the back. So yeah, that's... I don't think I'd make it again because of this just, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's because I know I've altered it, and I know. But yeah, I'm I am happier with that now than I was, and I will wear it now. I'm not sure I'd make this style again. No, in fact, I'm, there's no not sure about it. I wouldn't make this style again. I made the version C, and that was really nice. And I actually did it too big, but because of the material I, I used, like um, it was a very lightweight cotton, and it just hung. 
Steve called it my adamant blouse. He kept seeing you stand and deliver all day when I was wearing it. But yeah, I love that. So I'd make that again. But this, which is kind of like left me a dilemma because I've got the material from Guthrie and Garney. I bought the kit to make the dress. And I'm a bit scared of making it in case I don't like it. So I'm going to have to try it in a cheaper fabric, I think, before. But uh, yeah, watch this space. It's not high on my to-do list because of this disaster so i do apologize and wear the same outfit but i do have a few more outfits to show you so since i saw you last i was telling you about my party dress dilemma so i made my son let me just get my notes i made my son his uh marvel characters uh shirt which he loved he wore it i'll pop some pictures in we had a great night it was really good and i made i wanted to make well i did make get it right i did make the lulu dress because i was debating over the roseanne dress by vicky Sows, and i've got some gorgeous gorgeous viscose from uh, minerva which i loved anyway i settled upon the lulu dress by the aware collection and i made that did the top gorgeous i don't know whether it's me or whether it's the pattern or whether I don't know whether it was the style and I just got it in my head it was wrong but I, I made the top and then it was it had a waist casing in it I'll show you actually so this is it I love this fabric gorgeous so as you can see the top is like how do I describe it so that's just fixed so it's a fixed doesn't gather anything that's fixed tie so the top came out amazing fit me lovely tried it on so went ahead did the sleeves i love it and then i went to put the waist casing in and i realized that it sat just underneath my boobs whether my boobs are bigger than they should be or for the pattern that size that i chose i don't know but i thought this isn't sitting at my waist it was literally sat there so i ended up adding well i had about five inches so I put a panel in, can you see? I then decided that five inches was too big, so I cut it too short. And I still think I've gone a bit too wild. I think I could have just perhaps got away with two inches. You can't, it's not glaringly obvious. So there's the waist casing, can you see? So the waist casing should have been sat there, which just sat under my boobs. So I think possibly another two inches because I will pop a picture in and show you. Um, I've not worn it, didn't wear it for the party. A little bit disappointed that I wasted, I don't want to say wasted, that I used this material. Um, because yeah, I think I've hodgepodged it really. And I did write on my Instagram um, a little blurb about making it and the designer actually got back to me. I think I offended her a little bit, so I do apologize. Um, and But saying that she offered to redraft the pattern for me the top so it would be longer in the bodice she says it is supposed to sit just under the bust so maybe it's my interpretation of the pattern and looking at other pictures of other people wearing it it did seem to sit a lot lower you know the casing seemed to be on their waist but anyway she was lovely she offered to redraft the pattern for me if i wanted to make it again and she was going to lengthen the bodice for me so i could do it um I declined because I do want to make it again, but I didn't want to put it to that trouble because I can add, add, you know, add it a bit longer myself. So that's so that's where I was at with that. I did go a lot shorter on the skirt as well, <laughs> and because I was fed up a bit at that point, it's not quite level. I hacked at it a little bit. Um, yeah, not my best effort. I would. Would I make this pattern again? Yeah, I think I would, actually, just out of curiosity, because the top is lovely. I love the skirt, the gathering, so it's got like a panel at the front here. So you've got two straight panels, front and back, and then the gathering, so it's the gathering and then the panels at the side. So you've got four panels, two side panels, and two a front and a back panel, and the gathering is actually at the sides, which is quite flattering, because you haven't got all this bunching here on your, on your foof. Um, and at the, on your bum so yeah I think I would like to make it again actually I think I was just a bit disappointed and it's been too hot to wear it so I've not worn it so um, yeah 
and obviously I'm at work wearing a uniform all day so I don't wear clothes I come home and just stick my pajamas on um so I only get about three days out of seven where I'm actually dressed in in clothes so I, yeah I've not got a chance to wear it yet so in the end I went for I did show you this fabric because this was one of my fabric choices and I couldn't decide so I went for the ditzy heart print and I wore this on my son's party this is the magnolia dress by dear and doe love this i did shorten it i can't remember how much and i can't remember how much of this material i got and so i want to say i've, I've easily got this out of two meters because i've got quite a lot left and i did waste a bit because i've shortened it but yeah so i shortened it from their version uh, what else did I do with this? It's a size 14, which I'm not sure is there in Euro. Yeah, size 14. So it's the Magnolia dress by Dear and Doe, and the fabric was from Rainbow Fabrics. Cute little label there, look from Kylie and the Machines. And I actually put that on my son's shirt as well, um, underneath the pocket. It says you can't buy this, which I just thought was quite nice. Oh. Oh no, this wasn't the one where I ran. Sorry, I was just I'm thinking out loud. Yeah, it's meant to have a zip. It's meant to have a side zip. And I haven't put the side zip in because I tried it on. And I thought I'm going to risk not putting this zip in. So I just basted it like, um, and then tried it on. And with a tug over my boobs, not too much of a, a struggle. I can get it on without a zip. So I didn't bother because I really struggle with zips. I can't fasten them myself because they're not very flexible. Um, not too bad under my arms I don't think this arm isn't very accommodating so whichever with yeah where can you see wherever I put a zip I'm kind of like Ugh. um I don't know why I told you all that but yes yeah, so I didn't I didn't go with the zip so I say gentle tug over my boobs and I can get it on and off and I would make this one again I like this it's uh, I did the version with the one's quite revealing with the plunge neck I think that's the maxi version pop a picture in and yeah this is the shorter version I said I did shorten the skirt to just above the knee so I'll pop a picture in of that that's lovely definitely another make I would make then uh, I've been going swimming and I met this lovely lady and she um, she gave me some fabric well loads of fabric actually and some lovely patterns so I've been wanting to make this dress for ages uh, this is the Elodie wrap dress by I do a closet core. Um, sorry, I wanted to just show it. I'm just trying to. Show you there's an, oh yeah, there is an opening. Not got it organised, have I? So this is the LED wrap dress by Closet Core. A lovely sewing uh, swimming friend gave me this pattern, and I've been I've had my eye on this pattern for ages. So I made this, and this is another successful sew. I'm trying to tie it. Sorry, so as I can just. Show you. I've only got two meters of this fabric. This is from Minerva again, a lovely viscose, and I, I managed to just squeeze it with a bit of Tetris. Managed to squeeze it out of two meters. Um, I did the size 14, but I had to um, fudge the straps a little bit, so I had to do the straps in pieces. The one strap, I think, not the other, but you can't really see it. Apart from that, I managed, you know, I did manage to get it out of two metres. I think I had to cut these the wrong way around on the fabric as well. But yeah, hey, there you go. So that's the LED wrap dress. That's lovely as well. Pop a picture in. So that's another successful make. <laughs> so that's not bad. Two out of, well, two and a half out of three there, I would say. Successful. The first one was semi-successful. But yeah, I love that really pleased with that and I want to make another one of those and well so as well I have joined a sewing society group so last Saturday seems ages ago it was only a week ago I went to Penkridge and we had to step out of my comfort zone because I was so nervous about going to this uh, this sewing sewing social but um, yeah there were a lovely bunch of people it was run by the Staffordshire Sewist and it was at Penkridge found it easy um and yeah, love, we had a lovely day. So I cut out at midnight, the night before I was going, the that dress behind me. 
it's um yeah so i met oh i met some lovely people i think there's about nine of us there so as i say i was so nervous but they all made me really welcome because they'd all been before um, i think it was the third one so i'm definitely going on the next one and i've joined the whatsapp group so i've actually got some more sewing friends now so it's it's really nice i'm loving it we had cream tea and there was a swaps table and uh, oh a raffle yeah so um was it Jenny? I think it was Jenny, her name was. She won some gorgeous fabric um, out of the rab raffle. So, yeah, it was nice. I said to my daughter, I said, I'm going to a sewing social tomorrow. My daughter's 21. I'm going to a social, sewing social tomorrow. I said, and there's uh, cream tea and a raffle. And she went, Mom, you're really showing your age. <laughs> I said, I don't care. I'm really excited. <laughs> so, yeah, so I cut out the Wildwood wrap dress. That's... Um, the night before because I was panicking about I thought well, if I get there and there's also someone else using the the cutout table and I'll be just sat like a plank not able to do anything and so yeah I, I thought I'll get all organized and uh, so I started sewing that while I was there and then finished it on the Sunday yeah like last Sunday um yeah so I'm happy with that as well that I did a size 14 again that is um linen from oh where did I get that from pound fabrics and I bought three metres. I managed to get that dress out to three metres. So I'll pop a picture in. It does just come just below the knee. I think I did the shorter version, which is still quite long, really. I was surprised. Um, I don't know how long the other version would come. So, yeah, it's a wrap over dress and it ties uh, underneath. Then you wrap it over, and there's a little button here, and then you make the belt. You don't have to make the belt to be fair if you don't want to but it does say this dress is meant to be worn with the belt and i think it, it's really nice it's a feature so it's like a, a wider it's wide and then uh, long it tapers in so the wide bit goes at the front and you wrap it around and come back on yourself and tighten the belt as you can see yeah so um yeah i like that it's a little bit itchy i'm not yeah i'm not not worn much linen really and I didn't realise it was quite so itchy. Apparently that's the thing with linen, I don't know. Um, linen viscose is meant to be less itchy, I've been told. But yeah, it's a bit itchy but um, the girls at the uh, sewing social said that the more I wash it, the, you know, it'll soften up so I'm hoping so because I've not wore it this yet. It's only been a week but um, yeah, so I've been work uh, on placement all week so it's been far too hot. I thought, oh, I can't imagine wearing that. It's just be like a boiler suit. <laughs> I thought linen was meant to be cool, is it me? So I think, oh yes, I was just going to show you. Yeah, nearly finished. 17 minutes, that's not bad for me. I, wa I want to make a pair of shorts. Um, Adele from the sewing... What's Adele from Sofa Serenity, she came to the sewing social and um, she was wearing a lovely pair of shorts. I can't remember now what make they were, they were from an Etsy seller and I looked on her shop and she was closed unfortunately so I couldn't purchase the shorts pattern. Um, yeah so then I've been looking at a pair by Tasuti Fabrics but um, I have eventually settled on the sky shorts by peppermint magazine so i'm going to make those not sure what fabric yet so i won't show you any fabric um but yeah they're free it's a free pattern the sky shorts so which is a bonus at the moment because i've uh, haven't got many pennies at the minute so a while ago i had a subscription to the so holy so holy so Haley jane subscription box and i can't remember would it be may March, no, April maybe. Um, probably a lot of you recognise this fabric. This was in the box. So I wanted to make the kilo wrap dress. Um, never made this dress before. Everyone raves about it. So I'm going to make it out of this. So this is all washed and ready. I'm hoping it's not going to be see-through. I'm not going to be able to see the crack in my backside or anything. David's ringing me. He's going to have to wait. Yeah, so I'm going to try it in that. I think I'm going to try the sleeveless version. And then I had this a while back from Sherwood Fabrics. Look at that. Mm. Gorgeous. 
I did, when I ordered it, I didn't realise it was um, a stretch a jersey. But actually, wouldn't that make an amazing pillow? So I'm going to practice it on this because I do love this fabric, but it's not quite my favourite, shall I put it that way? So I'm going to practice it on that. Wasn't sure what to do with this, whether to make a dress or a top, but I think I'm going to go with the dress because I need. To, I'm not going to risk making it out of this. This is gorgeous. This is uh, Lady McElroy. Where, where did I get it from? Sherwood sure Fabrics, and it was a remnant. So there's two point six meters here. I don't know how much you need for the kilo wrap dress, but I'm sure I've got enough here. Oh, I just love this. Fell in love with it. Couldn't resist it. They had a sale on this weekend, actually, Sherwood Fabrics, and someone else had a sale on as well, and I managed to resist. I did very well. I was very pleased with myself. I say managed. I don't think I've got much choice. <laughs> so, yeah, I des desperately, desperately need to uh, finish this course and start working. Saying that, we had a bit of a splurge, me and my mum yesterday and next. That's what credit cards are for, isn't it? So that's that. So I'm going to. That's my plans this weekend. I'm going to be doing the sky shorts in something. Not sure yet what yet, and then the kilo wrap dress. Um. Yeah, that's all I've got to show you. Twenty one minutes. That's not bad. So if you've um if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd be, really appreciate it. <sighs> I can breathe now. I've finished. <laughs> Yes, I would really appreciate any subscribers or any likes and any comments as well, please. Yeah, if you like anything I've shown you or you've got any ideas that I can make the sky shorts out of. I don't know why I said that because you can't really suggest a fabric, can you? I might cut that bit out. <laughs> I think what I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. I'll stop now. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.